Welcome to uh, Buckley Land Rover Park, Mark. Hard, hard hat list today. Yeah, it's a cruel game, football, isn't it? I suppose it's unpredictable, and we, uh, that's why we love it. Yeah, um, I guess you wouldn't be happy with the 1-0 one, one loss, and especially when it was 88th minute. Conceded. Be happy with it? You not say? be happy with it. Not, no, we actually, our culture is not to be happy with any loss, whether it be a 1 0 or a 3 0. Uh, we're not happy with it. No, no, we're not. Um, the first half, you're up against the wind. Was it a case of defending that and seeing that out and then taking the second half? Or? No, far from it. No, we, no, I was, no, no, far from it actually. I think um, for people who actually want to watch the game and see the highlights, uh, They'll probably see the opposite, that we actually look at maintaining possession. We were very rarely pressed up in the uh, defensive third. Uh, I would probably say, um, when you're looking at percentages, we probably had about 80, 75% of the play, to 80% of the play. Um, and it wasn't really until probably the 37th, 38th, probably even the 39th minute that actually Lonnie City actually got a few consecutive passes um, that resulted in obviously nothing, but Though, honestly, they were outplayed, and anyone who wants to watch the video would probably see that. But yeah, I was quite happy the way we played the first half. Absolutely. Yeah, just seeing from uh, our point of view um, that, yeah, second half you just came out with a lot more intensity and whatnot and pressed higher at the park. Um, well, that, that's nice to hear. That's really nice to hear. It gives us a, uh, uh, a really good backbone to what we're trying to achieve. Um, well, the first half, uh, and I'm going to be watching the footage again, I thought we actually played some really good football, some really good passages to play, the, uh, all the four moments of the game. Uh, we probably lapsed in one, and that would have been that uh, uh, VP to VPO transitional phase. Um, but in saying that, uh, being able to maintain possession for the period of time and go forward and create a lot of one-on-ones at the back there um, with your opposition and, and also come in a fair bit out of the goalkeeper, I thought was, was quite well. If you come out in the second half, a bit stronger and a bit faster. That's probably a little bit astounding to me because I thought we actually come out uh, with the same sort of level of intensity. I would say that Launceston City probably um, got themselves involved in uh, the game a little bit more, but I wouldn't say too much to uh, the content of where they actually should be really stoked about how they perform. Uh, um. You look dangerous, especially through Chris Downs' set pieces there, and you certainly had a few chances to get on the score sheet yourselves. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was our downfall. Um, I'm going to check the stats when we get back uh, back in the rooms with the stat uh, statistician, and I think in the first half we might have had uh, uh, probably three or four clear opportunities that we should have uh, should have put away. Um, and I think in the second op uh, second half, uh, yeah, we probably had there about the same. And you know, game is. Uh, you don't take your chances. An opposition takes their chances on one occasion uh, and they win the game. Usually that's, that's a forte of football. So uh, it does become nervous around the 80th minute mark when you, you've uh, presented a lot of opportunities for yourselves and you don't put them away and then all of a sudden you, the ball's down your defensive third. You start to get a bit of heart flutter um, because, yeah, that's, that's usually the tale of football. Um, Tim Baker looked pretty lively on the left and he had a few opportunities getting him beyond the defence. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he's a good young lad. Uh, got a lot to offer. Um, if it, did, was he at the left, was he? Was, if he was out the left, the mate, last... he won't be playing next week, so he's not playing his position properly. He was out there in the last 20. Was he? Yeah, OK, yeah, well, uh, yeah, he's, he's quite quite nimble and he's quite uh, quite good with his feet. He's got some um, really good vision. Uh, he's well balanced. Uh, Gilly at the back there, um, very good. Nice two acquisitions uh, that are city out, sitting in our mould now, which is really nice. Is he more of a central midfield player? He... Swap back there when the shoot went off. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, he's never played there before, so um, I just wanted to give him the experience of being able to see how he could control the, the centre of the park, and I thought he did that really well, um, considering it was his first game in the country. Um, I, I thought, um, looking at, at the way it was moved, um, I thought it was a really well fought, contested game. Uh, it gives us some really good um, uh, positives going into our next game. However, we're not. By a long shot, we're not happy with the result because we're in, it's not where we expected to get out of it. Um, where do you expect this side to be coming into the year, roughly? Well, li listen to what everybody say. They expect Lonnie City to be up around the, uh, the fourth and third mark. Well, that's what I'm hearing. Um, well, if that's the way they expect to be, well, we, we should be at least second, and that's not going to happen. Uh, our goal is to get uh, uh, around the fifth mark. 
and play off the, uh, in the final series at the end. Um, it's a tall order compared to what happened last year, but I'm saying the way we actually have moved the ball around and are still proactive in what we're trying to achieve, it actually looked really well. It would be quite interesting now um, to see how we go against South Hobart. I'm uh, really looking forward to taking up against Zebras because uh, the last time they played us, uh, they got over us with um, a numerical advantage with the players that we haven't got out in the park, which we have today. Uh, so it'd be really nice to get back in front of them and see how we can turn the screws. Um, but I think we tra our travel plans and our journey this season is going to be um, it's going to be beneficial to what we're trying to achieve. Um, is this Canadian going to play next week? Uh, yeah, well, that's a really good question because um, he was supposed to have travelled up today to, to watch. Um, he's a good lad, don't get me wrong. And I know we're on the media, but yeah, sometimes uh, if you're trying to rebuild a culture and you're getting some new players in and you're trying to get some new players uh, uh, to stamp their self-approval on, on help rebuilding a culture to stabilise the club after the dismal uh, uh, construction of the MPL program last year, um, there's sometimes you get uh, certain attributes in a player that you necessarily don't necessarily want around. I'm not saying he has them, but um, there is some facets there in his, um, um, in his core mentality of the game and expectations that probably doesn't suit the coach we're looking for. So we've got a meeting with him and his manager um, on Monday night. So hopefully we, um, we can iron a few things out and then slowly uh, get him back into where we need to be. He's a very good asset and we hope to use him. Um, South Hobart at Darcy Street next week um, doesn't get much easier, if any. We don't, we don't expect easier games. We, we want to play the best um, in the best environments, on the best grounds. Uh, it tests our lads. Um, we've come unscathed. Some really good uh, efforts there. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're really looking forward to South Hobart. We saw their game plan, we saw the way they constructed themselves. Um, the Zebras uh, uh, picked their pocket, obviously, uh, last night. Um, obviously, some of the errors that South Hobart have got was really um, uh, prevalent to, to what was seen. Um, however, Zebras showed a lot too. Um, there was a lot there that was exposed to, so it's really good for us who people write off to sit back and say, OK, we're quite happy to, to achieve the challenge and we'll deal with the day on the day. Final question, you got City down the den two weeks time in the round of 16 Lacky Cup. Yeah, how exciting. Um, I bet you'll be confident to re reverse the uh, scoreline there. Uh, yeah, we, we, we will be confident. Um, Lacky Cup is something that um, that we want to perform well in. The same as the league, don't get me wrong, there's no difference. But um, uh, for Millen, um, Brendan, Bradley, um, the family, mate, they are very close to my heart and the lads and uh, and Millen were, were a really great ambassadors of football, and they still are. So for us to at least perform in that uh, that cup under under Millen's name is and, and the family's name would be uh, an absolute honour, mate, to get our lads up there and and uh, present themselves quite ferociously. But there again, in saying that, um, the league's a long year. This is the first game, so I've seen it many, many, many times over that teams can um, win the first two or three games of the season. And uh, you never see him again for the rest of the year. So we can't get ahead of ourselves with what we've done today. Um, we've just got to take steps and steps and steps along the way and hopefully we cover a bit more ground than some other teams. But looking forward to taking on South Hobart next week and uh, just seeing how we compete with some of the right, best. One nil result, left it to, to right to the very end there. Yes, um, first games are always tricky. Uh, you never know what to expect. Um, we had a bit of an interrupted pre-season due to the uh, Summer Cup being can't called off, so getting a, we didn't get too many game practices we wanted to. Um, that showed the first 30, 20, 20 minutes or so. And also there was nerves. Um, quite obvious, you could see the young kids, uh, Charlie, Ling and all that started off with a bit of nerves. Um, as the game went on, they got better. Um, we haven't really trained on this ground either. Um, so it was really not much of an advantage for us. Uh, we've been training on a smaller ground and suddenly coming to play on a bigger ground that showed again. Um, but overall it was just, you know, first game, cobwebs, um, could get a win, um, blow a few of the cobwebs away. Um, but we have to improve uh, significantly from what we did today. So that's a fact. You had the uh, pretty stiff breeze behind your backs in the first half. Do you feel like you didn't make the most of that? Um, yeah, yeah, um, maybe. Um, to some extent, it actually hindered us because um, balls were going a bit too far forward, um, and that that cost us a bit. 
uh, initially. But uh, as I said, the first half, um, I, I think the nerves got the better of us. Um, we were rushing a bit instead of just playing the normal uh, structure. Uh, once they settled, the last 20, 20 minutes we were better, much better. We had chances. We had two one-on-one -on -one chances that we didn't bury. Usually, you know, I bury those. Um, overall, I, you know, I'm happy with the win. Uh, definitely not happy with the performance, but we get better from here. Yeah. And then in the second half, against the wind, those long balls in beyond the defence weren't getting in beyond the defence for the most part. Kingbury were able to clean up. Uh, to some extent. Um, again, I, I th when Shane left, we lost the structure to some extent, um, and then we had to bring uh, Wixie up towards the left um, as an adjustment we had to make. Um, with Shane, that he gives us that drive um, and that ball that he does put, uh, angle balls that he puts through, so we kind of lost that a bit. Um, maybe we went too direct a bit too much. Um, again, that was just yeah, players just getting used um, to things, and um, uh, all I can put it down is it was definitely a, um, a, a we'll take the win, but the performance was definitely a bit shaky for sure. Uh, Substitution of Egan, was that down to injury or just... No, like, he had to go. He had other commitments, unfortunately, so, um, and that cost, cost us a bit of structure. Um, we lost a tour. Um, we lost someone to win the first header. Um, and the players who came in there are young boys, small bodies. Um, they're not naturally going to win those headers, unfortunately. Um, but the players did not give up. Um, we kept a clean sheet. That's a positive. Uh, we had chances. Um, even though we, you know, we're scrappy, they, they definitely can play a lot better than that. They played a lot better than that against Rangers. Um, it's just first game, uh, nerves. Um, you know, it's only upwards from here, to be honest. It took until the 88th minute to score that goal from Noah Mays. Did it feel like it was never going to come? Um, not really. I think at that stage we were getting on top of them. Uh, there were a few balls coming from the back. We were getting some crosses in already. Um, I think they were under the pump at that stage. Um, I think there was, if was a moment we were going to score was that last 15, 20 minutes of both half. Uh, I think we were up for most of the, you know, in the first half. Also, the last 15, 20 minutes we were up. Uh, second half too, we were in the passion that uh, at, the, at, at that um, period that we were actually forcing the game more than them. Um, but when we scored, we definitely did sit back a bit too much. Uh, those are the things we got to improve on. Um, you know, when it's 88 minutes, it's quite natural to then flood back um, naturally to, to defend, basically. With all the uh, changes throughout the off-season, um, how far do you think this side can go, or how long do you think it's going to take for the team to gel? And that was the big question. I mean, today showed that you know we, we can, we have got potential, but the team isn't gelling yet, uh, and that takes months. Uh, yes, we, will, we we started training late. Uh, most teams started um, November. I didn't sign till end of December, so we only started training January. So we we are we know we're two months behind everybody else. Um, it's about getting results. The first five or six weeks, it's about just finding a way to get results as we gel, as we get better. Um, we know second half, and uh, we expect to be a lot better. Um, second round, so it's about getting as many results as we can now um, and keep improving as a team because um, you know, we are a brand new team, so that's a long way for us to go. Um, I'm hoping that's the worst performance, and it's uh, uh, and, and the players know they themselves said it that wasn't a, a good enough performance, even though we weren't outplayed or anything like that. Uh, we had you know more than enough possession to win the game by a um, couple of goals if we wanted to, uh, but it wasn't a good enough performance if we really want to push the top four. Moving on to next week, you welcome Clarence up here. Yeah, that's another must-win game, you'd say. Oh, every game is a must-win game. I, I, I don't think there's a single team or single coach. You ask uh, Kingborough, did they come up here to draw? No, they would have come here to win. We'd be the same. Whether we go to South or we go to Devonport, we'll go there to win. Um, that's the mentality you have to take um, if you want to compete. Uh, whether we achieve that result, that's a different story. But your mentality going into every game um, is to win and, and I said that from day one our number one aim this year is to be competitive every game we play so that doesn't mean whether it's Kingborough or South Hobart or, or Devonport they all provide different um, what you call adversary that we have to deal with uh, South will give us a different headache Kingborough gave us a different headache because defensively they're quite well structured they won't push as high as the others would um, so it's 
you have diff you know, every team will give you a different headache to deal with. Um, for us, it's about building the team this year, um, building the unity of the team. So every game gives us that. Um, next week will give us another opportunity to gel as a team, to keep improving and keep working, understanding the combination plays. We will get better uh, with time. So it's it's trying to get the wins in the first three or four rounds as many as we can, try to pick up as many points as we can while we're trying to gel as a team. Moving on the week after that would be the round of 16 Lackey Cup against Kingborough down at the Den. Um, going to that confident? Learn a bit about them? Yeah, them? yeah uh, and so would they would have learned a bit about us. So we, we will have to adjust um, going down. Uh, we haven't really travelled this year. Um, neither in the friendlies and all that, so that's an adjustment for us. Um, but the pressure will be on them, being a home team, so that'd be good. Um, so there'd be less of pressure on ours. Um, saying that, I don't think there's a Laka Cup. Any team be going, any any team going into Laka Cups won't won't have pressure because everybody wants to win that. Um, the um, carrot at the end of the Laka Cup is just too big not to be enticed by it. Um, so we'll be going in and giving us a best shot. Um, we will obviously train better. We'll get Lindsay back. Um, we get Egan back for the full game. Um, we'll have a few more players back, so that be um, the Turner will get fitter. Uh, Turner will be back also, so you know we have a few more options. That's it from me. Thank you.